the idea to do this guitar is give or take at least been 20 years. As long as I've been here, we have meetings about tribute models and this one always came up and we're like, Err, you know, because we knew it was a very large mountain to climb. It's finally happened. So Michelle Kath, his daughter, had just completed a documentary about her dad where she was looking for this guitar. So this is basically my dad's signature guitar that he is most famous for playing throughout his live performances with Chicago. This moment today is a long time coming. I've been chasing Fender forever to remake this guitar because it is such a fan favorite, but of course, with the documentary I made about my dad, I actually didn't know where the guitar was. The film almost becomes a hunt for this guitar. So a spoiler if you haven't seen the film. I guess it's already a spoiler if you're watching this anyways. So the guitar was with my grandfather, so my dad's dad. He passed away when I was in my 20s, and so his wife kept it. So the funny thing to me is he's probably, when I was little, pulled this out. I just never clicked as a young girl. And if you look at the case of the guitar, my grandpa labeled all of the guitar cases, and it says Terry's favorite on the label. And so he, you know, my grandmother knew well enough to hide it <laughs> in the most best hiding place she knows to hide it for herself, which was the back of her closet. <laughs> Honestly, it means everything to me to find this guitar. It feels like having a piece of him that's so iconic and the fact that it was hidden all these years and wasn't touched, you know, you can smell the years on it. Got it, so like, I think it means a lot to our family as well. So Michelle brought the guitar down and it was pretty much exactly what I expected. <laughs> You know, it's very heavily modified, as you can see. I mean, he had three sets of tuners on this thing. He cut the Tele bridge and put in a Strat bridge, but he put modern saddles on a vintage plate. Humbucker, obviously, he reversed the, the control plate around, so he had to rewire that. So there's just a ton of stuff going on, and it was all pretty much confirmed when she brought it in. Immediately, I'm going through my head, how am I gonna pull this off? Something that's covered in stickers is a little different, like what came first, the sticker or the ding. So I had to do a lot of back and forth with that. Dennis, I love Dennis. He nailed it. And it's like, he's waiting for me to pick it apart and be like, mm, no, you know, go back to the drawing board. And I'm like, imagine. <laughs> so now that it's happening and I know how to do it and, I'm, and being a, a Chicago fan is pretty cool. You know, when you hear a song, it, it always puts you in a certain place, you know? And whenever I hear some of these Chicago songs, like Saturday in the Park, I'm immediately in my mom's car as a little kid going somewhere, my mom blasting it on the radio, you know, and so it's just really one of the, another one of those full circle moments that we've had here, and this one's pretty darn cool. Man, I hope my hope for the replicas is that they just find really good homes with people that are as excited as we are, really, about them being in the world. Not a big fan of wall hangers. I wanted to get out and get played, and hopefully add to the the beat up marks and, you know, get used. <laughs>